Good day, everyone. I am Mikaela Marie Descalzo, and together with me are my groupmates, namely Danilin Demson, Edward Rua, Trisha Perkett, and Kimberly Gaho. We are from the University of St. Osal College of Nursing, Group 2B of BSN 3A, and today, we proudly present to you our research study entitled Stress and Coping Strategies of Nurse Educators. Nurse educators are on the front lines of ensuring the quality of education provided to future generations in both clinical and classroom settings. But teaching is also one of the top professions that suffer from stress and burnt out on a regular basis. Therefore, the main goal of this research is to identify the level of stress through the predetermined causes as well as the extent of coping strategies that the participants use in managing stress. This study also aims to determine whether there is a relationship between stress and coping strategies when categorized according to emotion-focused and problem-focused coping. For the methods, a quantitative correlational study was conducted on a total enumeration of 77 nurse educators employed in the academic year 2021 to 2022 at the university. However, out of the 77 participants, three refused to participate in the study. For the results in discussion, Table 1 presents the demographic profile of the participants who were classified according to age, sex, civil status, educational attainment, and length of teaching service. In terms of age, 31 to 40 years old get the highest percentage, which is 35.1%. And participants aged 21 to 30 years old get the lowest, with 10.8%. For the sex, results revealed that 63 out of 74 of the participants were female and 47 were married. When grouped according to educational attainment, the majority were master degree holders, with 90.5%. And half of the nurse educators had a teaching experience of two to five years and more than 16 years. Table 2 shows the level of stress of nurse educators based on the predetermined causes. The highest results show moderate stress in terms of time management with a mean of 2.2p and a standard deviation of 0.87, whereas the lowest results show low stress in terms of employee administrator and teacher-teacher relations with a mean score of 1.58 to 1.68 and a standard deviation of 0.60 to 0.79. This indicates that it is a challenge for nurse educators to manage their time effectively. The overall result of the level of stress indicated that nurse educators employed in a university experienced low levels of stress with a mean of 2.02 and a standard deviation of 0.86. Table 3 illustrates the extent of coping strategies on the stress of nurse educators which were categorized according to emotion-focused coping and problem-focused coping. The results showed that problem-focused coping has a higher mean of 3.22 and a standard deviation of 0.48, as opposed to emotion-focused coping which has a mean of 2.73 and a standard deviation of 0.42. This indicates that the nurse educators use problem-focused coping more in alleviating stress and that nurse educators prefer managing the stress directly. Table 4 presents the significant relationship between stress and emotion-focused coping. Out of the 8 predetermined causes of stress, 5 of which showed a significant relationship with emotion-focused, namely time management having the highest result with a p-value of 0, 0.000, student behavior with a p-value of 0, 0.002, Intrapersonal conflicts with a p-value of 0.003, family stressors with a p-value of 0.006, and the environment with a p-value of 0.029. The overall result on the significant relationship between stress and emotion-focused coping indicated that emotion-focused coping has a highly significant relationship with stress, having a p-value of 0.000 and a chi-square score of 27.657. These findings indicate that stress is a strong association with emotion-focused coping. Table 5 presents the significant relationship between stress and problem-focused coping strategies of nurse educators. The highest result shows employee or administrator relations with a p-value of 0.851 and a chi-square value of 2.650, whereas the lowest result shows an environment with a p-value of 0.068 and a chi-square value of 11.731. The overall result of the significant relationship between stress and problem-focused scoping indicated that problem-focused scoping showed no significant relationship with stress with a p-value of 0.784 and a chi-square value of 3.195. To conclude, most nurse educators are aged between 31 to 40 years old, are female, married, with master degree, and a teaching experience of 2 to 5 years and more than 16 years. 
the highest level of stress experienced by nurse educators is on a moderate level, specifically time management. Commonly used strategy is problem focus, which implies that nurse educators prefer to seek solutions and act directly on the problem when stress arises. Since stress has a significant relationship with emotion focused coping, it made the study reject the hypothesis. On the other hand, problem focused coping presented no significant relationship with stress, which means that the hypothesis was accepted. Emotion focused coping has shown a significant relationship with stress, which implies that it has a significant influence when it comes to alleviating psychological manifestations of stress and mental exhaustion experienced by nurse educators. The findings and conclusion of the study have implied some recommendations that can be addressed to the involved participants and stakeholders. For the university administrators, they must increase stress awareness, provide individual and group programs to alleviate stress, and implement organizational adjustments in the university. For the con administrators, they must minimize the excessive workload of nurse educators, allowing them an ample time to finish their requirements. For the nurse educators, we recommend that they identify their stressors, be organized with their requirements, exhibit time management technique, and adapt to a healthy lifestyle to manage stress. For the student nurses, they should establish a healthy connection with their educators, exhibit proper attitude and behavior and learning, and practice respect and value for their teacher's time. For the parents, they must be active in school through responding to their school obligations. And lastly, for the future researchers, we recommend reassessment, expanding the frameworks presented, as well as addressing the limitations and increasing the number of participants of this study. And that is all for our research presentation. We truly appreciate your time and effort in watching and listening to our video. Once again, we are the Group 2B of BSN 3A, and our study is about stress and coping strategies of nurse educators.